Many users, including myself, have at one time or another been trapped by this mysterious cursor icon which prevents you from clicking almost anything. Responsible for more SOLIDWORKS restarts than almost any bug, find out what this thing is, how to turn it off, and how to stop it from appearing in the future in this 2 minute tech tip. The funnel or filter icon that you're seeing on the cursor is exactly that a selection filter. It's used to intentionally prevent you from selecting anything other than a specific type of entity, and there are a lot of situations where this can be really useful. More often than not though, it's turned on accidentally, and we'll get to that in a second. But if you're just trying to turn it off before you break your computer, pressing F6 on the keyboard should disable it for you. Now how did this happen? Most users are familiar with keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys, and we often use the Shift, Control, and Alt keys on the left side of the keyboard when making selections. Unfortunately, those aren't the only shortcuts in that area. By default, the X key enables the face filter, V enables the vertex filter, and E enables the edge filter, and all these are remarkably easy to hit on accident. To turn them off permanently, right click anywhere on the command manager and choose customize. From here, access the keyboard tab and to make things easier, type filter into the search box. The results should show each of these filters and their respective key binds. Simply click in the shortcut field and remove the binding. We recommend using backspace to do this as the delete key can actually be bound as a shortcut on accident. Click apply, then OK, and you shouldn't have to worry about seeing the filter ever again unless you want to, of course. As I mentioned before, they can actually be pretty useful, and if you want to explore them, you can use the F5 key to bring up a comprehensive toolbar of available selection filters to enable or disable using any combination you'd like. So that's it. No more filter icon. If this video helped you, consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel for more CAD tips and tricks, or let us know what you'd like to learn next in the comments. Also, if you're considering taking the CSWA certification anytime soon, Make sure to visit Solid Professor for full-length prep courses and practice exams. Thanks for watching.